Believe it or not, staying at home is a big help for scientists monitoring a potential second wave, but it's not in the way that you'd expect. Fox 44's Kara St. Cyr details how LSU is saying sewage might be the key to preventing another outbreak. You can control any illness if you can find where it starts. For COVID-19, that might be in the most unlikely of places. We are testing for the SARS coronavirus in sewage. You heard that right. Your waste can give scientists hints about how many people have the virus. You can also trace what part of the city has the most cases, just by the sewer system it comes from. We've been doing this for a long time. Dr. John Pardue, a professor at LSU, was heading an operation to trace the waste. His team has been researching sewage since the outbreak started. It's a field called sewer epidemiology, uh, and so we can go and measure in sewage things like what drugs people are taking, what kind of chemicals or cosmetics they're using. It can also be used to predict the oncoming of a second wave of coronavirus. It's a really a very important early warning system. Here's how it works. A sample of wastewater is taken from a sewage plant. It gets to scientists within 12 or so hours so the virus doesn't die. It's brought here at the LSU Veterinary School and processed. You could detect uh, up to seven days in advance a potential epidemic in a local community and then advise the leadership. Depending on what these samples read, Dr. Pardue and Dr. Kousalis can advise officials on what needs to be done to prevent the spread, like more social distancing or another quarantine. All these answers are just one flush away. All right, that was it. Kara St. Cyr reporting. So far, the team studying the sewage says the numbers are pretty stable, which means there isn't a sign of a second wave.